this is Napa Fan here, and this is the seventh race in season number one of the Crown Royal Series. We are here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Mellow Yellow 300, a 30-lap race here tonight. And it should be a good one as we will crown yet another winner here in the Crown Royal Series and get closer to the championship. Let's get to the starting lineup. Day John Week starts on the pole in the number 25. Uh... L.J. Mills is alongside him, Jacob Reed, Elijah Gordon, Jonathan Skip, Nicky Ferdinand Gabbat, Garrett Sinor, Diego Stevenson, Marshall Free, Clint Buchanan, Joffrey Toussaint, Austin Spencer, Cameron Garlington, Will Blake, Dean Wickard, Eric Almanhart, Matt Dalio, Dale Salzman, Riley White, Eric Hyten, Mason Powers, Tristan Walker, Kevin Gandara, Adam Pinchon, Tyler Selzman, Cameron Gaju, Eric Joe Larvin, Alonzo, Warren Henniger, Biff Crafton, Caleb Hoffman, Alan Cavagnaro, Max Newer, Stuart Gratton, Richard Schaffner, Christian Master, Dana Mon, Nicholas Samadio, Aaron Walpole, Trey Barto, and Eric Powers. The full field starting here today, tonight. <laughs> It's today for you guys. Actually, no, it might be tonight. Yeah, it is tonight for you guys. So, yeah. Full field starting here tonight at Charlotte in the Mellow Yellow 300. So, 40 competitors in the field, and it should be a good one. Make sure nobody's pulling out or anything. And it looks like we're all good. I actually have the thing set to 110. Instead of 108, well, like I normally do, uh, I put it to 108 uh, aggression so that uh, we, are, we are less likely to have a car uh, not start the race. So that's why I put it to 108. We still get great racing and all that. Uh, but I forgot to do that. And I put it to 110 for this race, but everyone's okay. And we're all ready to start here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. So here we go. Deja Weeks and LJ Mills lead us off. We are green flag racing in the Mellow Yellow 300. Take the headphones out. Turn the volume up. There we go. Dejon Weeks pulls out to the lead. Jacob Reed in the 13. Trying to get a run on him. They're side by side for the lead. And the speed seemed to be a lot faster here than they uh, were in the truck race. These cars do go faster than the trucks do. So, uh... Just keep that in mind. Jonathan's give Nicky in the number two. Right behind Jacob Reed. He's trying to get a nose underneath of him for the lead. Not going to quite do it yet, but there he goes down the back stretch, trying at least. But I think Reed is going to get the run on the outside, and he's going to stay out front in the number 16 car. So Jacob Reed leading the first two laps of this race. Diego Stevenson in the 52, moving his way up. And right now, he's going to get second from Jonathan Skivnicki, the outside pole sitter. L.J. Mills moving his way back up in the number seven. Dejon Weeks, the pole sitter, stuck on the high lane. And here's the winner of the truck race, Clint Buchanan in the number 14. We know that he can win at this racetrack. Definitely knows how to get it done here. We'll see if he can uh, make it two in a row here at Charlotte Motor Speedway on Napa Fan. Here comes L.J. Mills. Trying to get underneath of Diego Stevenson as Jacob Reed leads yet another lap in this race. Stevenson's going to lose a position. Well, not necessarily, but uh, LJ Mills is pressuring him for second place. And Jacob Reed doing a fantastic job out there in that number 16 car. Staying out front in this race. He won the Cup Series race at California. And the guy who won the Crown Royal Series race at California, Ferdinand Gabat, is fifth. And the guy who was our points leader heading into the Talladega race last time uh, got a bad finish there. Will Blake did uh, in that race. Right now, he uh, is in fourth in points, I do believe. Christian Master is now the new points leader. Will Blake trying to grab some more points, get back into that points lead in this number 39. Mills is still in second, and Jacob Reed doing a great job keeping the lead. He's riding this sort of middle lane where he can, like, you know, kind of block the inside lane, but also keep it so that he can keep the momentum going, if you know what I mean. Because the outside lane, you get a lot of momentum, but the inside lane... Uh, you know, is a shorter way around. But Reed was, at least, before L.J. Mills tried to 
take the lead from him, was kind of running a middle lane where he can get the run off, but also block the middle of uh, the inside lane as well. Good job uh, to Jacob Reed for leading quite a few laps there, but he lost it to L.J. Mills. And here comes Ferdinand Gabbat trying to get his second career Napa fan win and his second career win in the Crown Royal Series. Diego Stevenson's up here in this 52 as Ferdinand Gabbat becomes the only other leader tonight other than Jacob Reed. Diego Stevenson up to second place in the 52 as Gabbat still leads it in the 97. Will Blake up to third place. Riley White moving his way up in the number 24. Eric Almanhart in the 29. And I believe the 26 is Kevin Gandara. Man, they're going to go three wide in the corner here. Mills really high. He's going to lose a lot of positions up there in that number seven. Oh, boy. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Sells been around. It's going to be a big crash down the backstretch. They all pile in, and our first caution of the night, a lot of guys up there towards the wall. Ah, man. And LJ Mills got put three wide really, really high and uh, did not work for anybody involved in that crash. Selzman with a lot of damage, and we're going to have our first caution of the Melio 300 here. Ferdinand Gabbat is still out front in the 97. I mean, we, oh, my. I don't think we've had another. I think we've had another crash. I don't think Dean Wickard had that. Damage. No. Coming to the pit lane, Dean Wickard smacked Joffrey Toussaint. They're both all torn up. But anyway, we'll review the crash that happened down the backstretch here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. LJ Mills right here. This forces it too much. He actually got away with it, LJ Mills did, but... Uh, Jaffer Dusant, Christian Master was involved a little bit. He's our points leader. Eric Powers got a bit of it. So did Harry Joe Larvin Alonzo. A lot of you guys kind of just scraped the wall there. Um, let's see, Dean Wickard. He came down, and I think he got the six of Sinor. Sinor was okay, but Wickard hit the wall. And Selzman... Probably got the worst of this crash. See, he hit the 92 of Cameron Garlington as well. Max Newerf got a bit of a... Uh, whoopsie. Max Newerf got a bit of it here. But Selzman uh, really was a big part of this whole thing. Spencer got spun a little bit. You see Toussaint. He hit Powers. You got a mine all torn up a little. Well, not all torn up. Max Newerf got a bit of it. Cameron Garlington got a bit of it. I'm not sure if Henniger got a bit of it. Uh, Eric Powers got some of it. Elijah Gordon was going through the grass. Hopefully we didn't crash again. Uh, because if you remember in the Cup Series race, Coca-Cola 600 in season number one, we had a caution come out. And then under caution, Warren Henniger got spun. And uh, the Arca break factor happened as Alan Cavignaro rammed into him under the yellow flag. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to have that here in this race. And a tough break for guys like Dean Wickard, especially Joffrey Toussaint. He might, in fact, be the lowest guy in points. And our last winner, Eric Powers, uh, got a bit of this as well. Actually, he might have gotten uh, more than the bit of it because I don't see him on the track anymore. So Eric Powers goes from victory lane to Talladega to garage at Charlotte. And it looks like Toussaint's going to get some garage, and so is uh, Dean Wickard in the 01. But Toussaint and Wickard uh, both had that incident under caution, technically, coming into the pit road. So we did have our little under caution incident. So anyway, uh, Selzman with damage, Newworth, Amon got a bit of it. So did Garlington uh, and all those guys. But uh, yeah, I think we only have a couple guys that are going to be out. And that's going to be Dean Wickard and Eric Powers because Toussaint is coming back out on the racetrack. So let's get to the restart here in the Mellow Yellow 300 right now. Okay, here we go. We're going to get back racing here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Ferdinand Gabbard is the leader. Diego Stevenson, Will Blake, Riley White, and Eric Almanhart, the top five. Ferdinand Gabbard trying to get his second win of the season here in the Crown Royal Series. We'll see if he can hold off the guys behind him. So we are just, uh, just short of halfway here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Green flag back out for the Mellow Yellow 300. 
Stevenson trying to get a run and trying to block Will Blake at the same time, but they're single file throughout the first, uh, now four cars on the racetrack. And there goes Stevenson for the lead underneath of Ferdinand Gabat on lap 14. Stevenson in the 52 trying to grab his third career Napa fan win here tonight. He's going to lead that lap. But here comes Will Blake in the 39. And eventually this guy's got to get a win. I mean, he's been one of the most solid guys all season here in the Crown Royal Series. And right now he is the leader. In the Mellow Yellow 300, taking the lead from Diego Stevenson. But here comes Kevin Gandara, and we're almost going four wide. But they don't. They fan it out to two wide. And Kevin Gandara leads at the halfway point of the race. Spencer must have gotten some damage there. He's slow. Henniger got this back here. They're slow. And pretty much everyone from Stuart Gratton down probably got a piece of that crash and they're all running pretty slow especially Joffrey Toussaint he's going really slow Kevin Gandara and his teammate Eric Almanhart 1-2 Jacob Reed in the 16 led a lot of the early portion of this race he's up to third Clint Buchanan won the truck race here uh, earlier today technically yeah early today earlier today that's how it uh, played out and right now, he's going underneath of Gandara for second. He's going to push Jacob Reed to the lead. And then this pack here, Richard Shafter is in fifth. Jonathan Skivnicki is in sixth. And Cameron Gaju is going to get seventh. I believe Gaju is last in points. But uh, right now, he's got a good run going for him in that number 62. And the RCR teammates of Jonathan Skivnicki and Cameron Gaju doing pretty well. LJ Mills, who started that whole crash that brought out the first caution of the race, he's moving up here. He didn't really get much of it, so he's good. Um, and the points leader, Christian Master, up here in the number nine. But it's still Jacob Reed out front. Now, once Jacob Reed gets out front, he stays up there. Doing a great job in that number 16. Schaffner under fire from Eric Almanhart. Eric Almanhart won at Texas. This track is similar to Texas. Eric Almanhart trying to get his second career win. Career win. Man, really goofed it up there. Jonathan Skivnicki in number two. Now underneath of Schaffner for third. I'm not goofing this race up near as much as I did the truck race, though, so I'm good. But Jacob Reed has shown us that once he gets out front, he stays there. And he's doing a fantastic job. We're going to have 10 laps to go when we cross the line next time by. Gandara's been up here for quite a bit in this race. So has Almanhart. And another caution. Jacob Reed leads it at the line. Uh, what was the caution for? Well, there's part of the caution. Oh! Oh! Aaron Walpole, Tristan Walker, Max Newerf, Adam Pinchon. This happened deep in the pack. This was not in the main po portion of the pack. This was in that second you know, little pack. Yeah, see Hoffman here has damage. This was in the second little pack that was uh, falling behind from the main pack. And uh, we'll see how or see what happened here in this uh, to bring this one out. Okay, green flag's actually out here. Actually, what we probably saw at the end was actually why the caution probably came out. Uh, I think the caution probably came out like right when we were about crossing the line there. So I really wasn't paying attention, but we'll see. Oh, green flag is still out. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, that was a hard hit. Adam Pinchon, Aaron Walpole, Tristan Walker... And they, they, they do a decent job. Most of that back does, did a decent job. Only uh, Newworth got some of that. He seems to be the kind of guy that gets involved in everything, unfortunately. But the uh, really hard crash. Aaron Walpole, I, he, got, he got a little air there. Oh, man, he got... Tristan Walker got underneath of him, and Walker came down and spun Powers, who was trying to avoid the crash. And look at these guys. They slow down perfectly, except for Max Newworth, of course. And uh, Walpole hits Pinchon. He's not happy with him, I don't think. I think Pinchon was uh, 
kind of why this whole thing happened. Pinchon actually put Walpole three wide, and uh, that's probably why. Actually, it was Marshall Free that kind of hit Pinchon and put Pinchon in the Walpole. But a five-car incident. Tristan Walker involved, Mason Powers involved, and Max Newworth. And you see Walpole hit Pinchon there, and of course he's not happy with him uh, after that incident there. Go on board here with Tristan Walker. He's going to have a good view of what happened and a good view of the rear tires of Aaron Walpole. Whoops, not that one, this one. Here we go. He really didn't get too much damage, and he comes and clips Mason Powers and then the wall, but other than that, not... Okay, never mind, he got spun by Max Newworth. So, yeah. Walker, one of those guys having... Uh, I think he's having a tough season. I really don't know. Points are all over the place. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the leader is Jacob Reed in the number 16. And as I said, he once he gets out front, he stays there. He's done a great job in that tonight. So we'll get to the final restart of the race right now. Okay, we're going to have six laps to go here to finish out the Mellow Yellow 300. Jacob Reed is the leader in the number 16. Eric Almahart's in second place. Jonathan Skivnicki. L.J. Mills and Kevin Gandara, the top five. Schaffner, Stevenson, Buchanan, Master, and Salzman, the top ten. Here we go. Pace car has pulled off. Who's going to win the Melly Yellow 300? We'll find out soon. Boy, I don't know if Eric Almanhart got off to a good start. He didn't. Here comes Skivnicki for second underneath of him. Something went wrong with Eric Almanhart on the start there. That holds everybody up, and that allows Jacob Reed to pull away. But this is one of those tracks where you don't really want to stay out front for too long because the draft is a big part here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Here comes L.J. Mills, the outside pole sitter. Underneath us, give Nicky for second. He's got Schaffner and Stevenson with him. And Buchanan won the truck race here earlier. We'll see if he can get the win here today. They're all over the place. Here comes Schaffner in the 98. And Mills just puts Givnicki high, three wide. But they're not going to crash like the time Mills was up there. But they're still going three wide. Givnicki stuck on the high lane. And that is not a good place to be. They're bumping off each other all over the place. And this is definitely what Jacob Reed wants to see in this number 16. But second, it's pretty orderly. Here comes Schaffner for second place underneath of L.J. Mills. Can Richard Schaffner get up to Jacob Reed in time? We'll see. It is going to be three laps to go. And we cross the line next time by. Jacob Reed out front. Here comes Eric Almanhart in the 29 for third underneath of Mills. Three laps to go for Jacob Reed in the Mellow Yellow 300. But will he be the leader when the checkered flag falls? We'll see. Schaffner, he's getting a good run down the backstretch. Right up to the bumper of Jacob Reed. We'll see how this all plays out. How many times can I say we'll see? I'm like Rusty Rawlison right now, you know? Anyway, Jacob Reed leads it with two laps to go in the Mellow Yellow 300. Eric Almanhart is definitely still part of this thing in this number 29. Here comes Schaffner for the lead with help from Almanhart. Jacob Reed's going to be put on the high lane, and Schaffner takes the lead. Richard Schaffner in the 98 trying to grab his first career Napa fan win, and we have had a crash. No, somebody just went through the grass. White flag for Richard Schaffner. Here comes Eric Almanhart in the 29. Clint Buchanan closing, closing up here. And if something happens to these leaders, he's in the catbird seat. Here comes Jacob Reed underneath of the 29 for second. That's what Richard Schaffner wants to see. Richard Schaffner and the 98 is going to win here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Richard Schaffner wins the Mellow Yellow 300. Good race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and Richard Schaffner comes home with his first career Napa fan victory here today. Good run for Jacob Reed. Clint Buchanan finished fourth. Eric Almanhart finished third. And Elijah Gordon got fifth. How about that? 
But Richard Schaffner, the winner here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And he, uh, yeah, he won. You know, this isn't, there is no chase here, so, uh, he hasn't made the chase. And, uh, LJ Mills taking an interesting line to the pit road, but, uh, they don't get on the pit road too good here. But anyway, Richard Schaffner wins the race. Jacob Reed, Eric Gallmanhart, Clint Buchanan, and Elijah Gordon, the top five. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll show you guys the rest of the results right here. Uh, Pinchon, Walpole, Wickard, and Powers all got knocked out for crash damage in this race. So thank you guys very much for watching. And congratulations to Richard Schaffner on his first career in Napa Fan Win. So here are the points for the Crown Royal Series, and I will see you guys later.